Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya 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 So this evening we are going to speak from the Bhagavad Gita, chapter 9, text number 2. You can see on the screen, we will be chanting, you can repeat. Raja Vidya Raja Guyam Raja Vidya Raja Guyam Pavitram Idam Uttamam Pavitram Idam Uttamam Pratyak Savagamam Dharmyam Pratyak Savagamam Dharmyam Susukam Kartam Abhyayam Susukam Kartam Raja Vidya Raja Guyam Raja Vidya Raja Guyam Pavitram Idam Uttamam Pavitram Idam Uttamam Pratyak Savagamam Dharmyam Susukam Kartam Abhyayam Raja Vidya Raja Guyam Raja Vidya Raja Guyam Pavitram Idam Uttamam Pavitram Idam Uttamam Pradyakshabhakamam Dhanyam Susukam Kartam Abhyayam Raja Vidya Raja Guyam Raja Vidya Raja Guyam Vitra Midam Uttamam Vitra Midam Uttamam Rakshavagamam Dharmyam Susukam Kattam Abhyayam Susukam Kattam Abhyayam Raja Vidya Raja Guyam Raja Vidya Raja Guyam Pavitra Midam Uttamam Everlasting 
and it is joyfully performed. Omagyana Timarandasya Gyanam Jana Shalakaya Chakshura Meditangena Tasmai Shri Gure Namaha Vanchakaupata Rupyasya Kripa Sindhu Bhairacha Patitanam Bhavanidyo Vaishnavidyo Namo Nama Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Adhita Kadara Shri Vastati Gaurapakarinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna So this is the very auspicious month of December. Wait, do we need translation? So this is the month of December. It's a very auspicious month for devotees in Malaysia. We have many wonderful programs taking place in this month. So in the Madam in the Rumbo Kundwana Madam, Blishala, Rumbo Vishisham, Narakam in the Madam. We had, for example, just the other day we celebrated the disappearance day of. founder of the Gaudiya and who was the spiritual master of his divine grace, Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. <laughs> We also had the anniversary of the speaking of the Bhagavad Gita, a day which we call Gita Jayanti, which took place on the last Ekadasi. So, Pono Ekadasi Karasi Ekadasi, like Gita Jayanti, Anikita, Bhagavan, Gita Vishnu. So, the speaking of the Bhagavad Gita took place most recently, 5,000 years ago. But actually, the speaking of the Bhagavad Gita is something which goes on continually. It went, it went on in the past, many times before, and it's going on right now, just in different universes. So, Bhagavan and the Ponavati in the Gita Jayanti Kondarnam. So, and the Gita Bhagavan Ayar Rasam and the Gita Pesam, and the Bhagavad Gita in the Bhagavan Ayar Rasam and the Pesala, as Munapesir Kar. So we want to understand the importance of the Bhagavad Gita. Sometimes we think this Bhagavad Gita is just for a, a book for Hindu or something. We think it's meant for just one group of people, maybe just some community of people. That, but actually Bhagavad Gita is a book for people, living entities all over the creation. Just like here in Malaysia, people are very concerned about education. Whenever there's exams, we know how the parents always encourage their children to study for the exams and they want their child to do good in the exams. And of course we know several people from Malaysia also go overseas to foreign countries to study. So they spend so much money just for education. So in the country, in the Roma Mukim, Malaysia, Paklam, and Roma Mukito Kurpan, Slapper, Thai, and in there, including Roma Mukito Kurpanga, 
சில நேரத்தில் பார்க்கலாம் அவங்க பிள்ளைங்கள்லேருந்து ரொம்ப லட்சம் காசு செலவடிச்சு வெளியூருக்கு படிக்க வைப்பாங்க But we should understand that type of education is material. It is not the greatest education. It is certainly not the, what we would call the king of education. It is mundane knowledge, which is limited and temporary. So, we have to learn about the knowledge of the people who are living in the world. We have to learn about the knowledge of the people who are living in the world. We have to learn about the knowledge of the people who are living in the world. But the Bhagavad Gita, the knowledge you get from the Bhagavad Gita, that is eternal knowledge. That is knowledge which will make the difference between birth and death. So, Anna, the Bhagavad Gita Karika is Jnanam in the Nithimana Jnanam. So, Jnanatha Nama Purjikita Nambalgande, Nambalgande, Maripir Villa, Atma and Nada, Udal and Nada, Nama Purjikala. In other words, mundane knowledge, material knowledge will keep you in the wheel of birth and death. It will keep you in that wheel which we call samsara, where we take birth and die in different species, in different planets. So, in the Jadapurla Jnana Mandi, if we learn about the Jakuda, in the samsara chakla tham, we will tapi ka mudi aadhe. In the maripirve, marana madhali, in the bauti bolakatla nandhe, we will tapi ka mudi aadhe. But the Bhagavad Gita, the knowledge of Bhagavad Gita will take us out of the wheel of birth and death. It can take us, it can give us liberation, it can qualify us to enter into the spiritual realm. So it says here then, it's, it's also the most secret of all secrets. If it's so valuable, why is it kept secret? So in the Jnana Bhaguri, the Jnana Minda Bhagavan Sora Ragasit le Mika Ragasimana Jnana Mandrade. So it's in the Ragasimana Jnana Jnana Ipiti Namba Yelatika Adidis Sora De. The problem is, ordinary people, common people are only interested in material life. They never think about their actual self, they never understand who they really are, and they never understand the problem of birth and death. So in the Bhauti Kola, the Mukha Asina, the Manager Gallam, Allah Manda, Angli Jada, Valkita, Angli Istam, Jnana, Valka, Angli Istam, Allah, the Bhagari, the Jnana, Angli Istam, Allah, the Bhauti Kola, the Tapti Kordik, Vaikuta, Adir, the Koni Istam, Allah. Common people simply think the problems of life can all be solved by money. So they think if you work hard, if you get good education, material education, you get a good job and you make a lot of money, you'll be happy. They're thinking, but actually it's not true. It's not like that. So the Jada Olakatlinda Yellar and Nancy could Kanga and then the Rumbu Panamadan and the Smart Pan. There are many people working hard, but they don't make a lot of money. If it was just simply hard work to make money, then everyone would be rich. And some people without any hard work at all, with an easy life, they make a lot of money. So, we have to understand the laws of the material nature. Everything is going on, not just simply by our hard work, but by the laws of nature, what we call the law of karma. So, in, in other words, it's according to our past. The, the activities and the way we have acted in our past will determine how we enjoy and how we suffer in the present. 
ஸோ நம்மளோட இந்த இந்த வாழ்க்கையில் நம்ம கஷ்டப்படுறது சந்தோஷப்படுறது எல்லாம் போன பூர்வ ஜென்மம் நம்ம எப்படி போன ஜென்மத்தில் வாழ்ந்தோமோ அதே மாதிரி நம்ம இந்த So this knowledge of the Bhagavad Gita is secret for common people because common people are not interested to hear. So in the Bhagavad Gita, the knowledge of the Bhagavad Gita is secret for common people because common people are not interested to hear. So in the Bhagavad Gita, the knowledge of the Bhagavad Gita is secret for common people because common people are not interested to hear. So in the Bhagavad Gita, the knowledge of the Bhagavad Gita is secret for common people because common people are not interested to hear. So in the Bhagavad Gita, the knowledge of the Bhagavad Gita is secret for common people because common people are not interested to hear. So in the Bhagavad Gita, the knowledge of the Bhagavad Gita is secret for common people because common people are not interested to hear. So in the Bhagavad Gita, They're busy to watch television, to watch football, to watch cricket, but it asks them to understand Bhagavad Gita. Very difficult for them. No interest. So, sadan mani thani ko pakala jada pa orka thala pakala angul kende in the Bhagavad Gita padi ka jana thay apu jinga angul kista mala naira mala. Ana naira thanda angul thalu pada pakaru swanga, Bollywood pada othu swanga, cricket pakaru thike, bandarade pakaru thike, alke wo thiku naira. So we should understand this knowledge of the Bhagavad Gita is the purest knowledge. It's very pure. If we're not pure. That's a problem because we're not pure. We cannot appreciate something which is pure. So in the Bhagavad Gita, jnana means the tumya na jnana. Ana number tumya liye. Asana number lagende. In the Bhagavad Gita, jnana the number lagende. Puri ki kumulda. Azoda rasa suye number noi ki kumuli. Because our brain, because our mind and senses are all contaminated by so many desires for enjoying material pleasures, we're not pure. And when somebody speaks some pure knowledge to us, we don't like to hear it. So, yana nambada manam pulan yallam kalagal patti. Yana manam pulan yallam. So, adhinala namulagindhi bhagut gindhi kekatikki namulagishtam. But we should understand the nature of this knowledge is such that if you do hear it, if you hear it with the proper mood, with attention, then you can understand your own self. You can understand who you are. Anand, the Bhagavad Gita, number one, number two, our Alman or Alok, number one, Gaunu Thoru, number one, Padi Chuma, Bhakti Oru, number one, Padi Chuma, upper number one, Purji Kalam, Nan Yar, in the order, in the. We should the nice example of a person who realized his own self was Sri Narada Muni in his previous life when he was the son of a maid servant woman. So in the in the Jnana the other thing we get the one that I am from that land number Narada Muni. Narada Muni. Sutra ni or Vala Karji Magan. So Sri Narada Muni. was engaged in helping his mother to take care of some sadhus who were traveling and these sadhus they happened to come to Narada Muni's house during the chapter mashya and so they stayed there for some time at his home and Narada Muni had the opportunity to serve them so punarada muni pon janmathla or sir vela karchi magana irukumode sil nadathil inde परी परी सनिया सिंह भी इसको रहा हूँ बिटू वार्ते तांगु अंगा सो आदमी सांतर पर डालते नारदा मुनि कौन जा रख मोदे आदमी सनिया सिंह भी तो तो सेवा With their permission, he took the remnants of their food stuff. आँगा साफ़ तो मिच्छे विच्छे प्रशाद मर गया नारदा मुनि कौन जा रख मोदे आँग आनंद दिखते अंदे प्रशाद आवरे उन्होंने And he was very well behaved. So, and, uh, and he was not interested in games. So, so when the sadhu sat and talked about transcendental subject matters, he would sit and listen to what they were talking about. So, the sannyasi sadhu nalande in the anmika vishya ko pay samodha, avande kolanda argumenta kora gaunuma kani ke pa. Just like we see this evening, we have a number of young, young people here. So, Mara, so now, if you are going to the rumbos, you are playing a lot of the kanga. So, you, our elders may feel oh, this subject matter is not for the young people. Mutto ko nand panga o in the bhagwi the jnana mande pule nee kinde taya balla abhi nand pang. But Narada Muni was a young boy, and he was hearing. 
then he benefited. And later on he went to he went on to realize his own self and to become free from all material attachments. So the same way these young people who are here this evening, we hope they will also go on in the same way. Follow the path of Narada Muni. We think there are many religions. There's actually only one religion. But there are many different faiths. God is one. There's only one God. But he has many names. Because there's only one God, actually there's only one religion. We identify religion actually it's not really religion, it's faith. You have faith in some tradition. So And that faith can change. So and just like sometimes someone from one religion will marry someone from another religion and they will change their religion. Or sometimes people go from one country to another country and they change their religion. They feel I want to, I don't want to be different from other people, I just want to follow the other people. So that is not actually religion, that is just faith. So But actual real religion is to understand the signs of God. So and this science of God is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. In the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna never mentions either Hindu or Christian or Buddhist or Islam or any religion, any faith. But he does, he does talk about the absolute truth, about the, the, the relationship between God and the living entities. So you should understand this knowledge of the Bhagavad Gita. It is eternal knowledge. As described here, it is everlasting. It doesn't go out of date. So, Somebody may have the new handphone or somebody may have the new car. Oh, you have the latest model. But after some time, it goes out of date. But this knowledge of Bhagavad Gita, it is eternal, it is everlasting, it never goes out of date. It is the oldest, but it is perfect. There are no faults in it because it's not coming from any ordinary man. It's the words of the Supreme Lord Himself. So in the Bhagavad Gita, Jnana Mande, it is the Yedom Tapulla Bhagavad Gita. Yedom Tapulla, Yana, it is the Madhyan Purta Jnana Mala. 
भगवाने पैसा ज्ञान हम दे पाएंगे। We are conditioned souls. We make mistakes. We have imperfect senses. We're subject to illusion, and we may even try to cheat. So, number de katundra atma, number gende thoringal rukke. Number de number pullangal kora patte de purna mala. Number de tapu sevom, thavun sevom, thiruvom. So, andamari katundra. But this knowledge of the Bhagavad Gita, this is without these defects. It is coming from the. It is the words of Lord Krishna Himself, and it has been recorded for us by Srila Vyasadeva. So Srila Vyasadeva recorded these words of the Bhagavad Gita into his epic Mahabharata, which is the history of the world. So, Vyasa Muni Indi, Indi Mahabharata Yelda Murde, Adal Indi Indi Bhagur Gidi Yelda Irka. Mahabharata is a very big book, thousands of Sanskrit verses. Vaha Mahabharata Indi Shilu Rumbu Nita Mana Vedam Sastra, so Adal Indi Lechakana Sanskrit Loka Mertha. But the most important part of the Bhagavad, of the Mahabharata is the Bhagavad Gita, which is only 700 verses. In 18 chapters, Lord Krishna has described the knowledge of the Absolute Truth. So this knowledge is described that it is joyfully performed. We're all looking for happiness. You should understand this message of Bhagavad Gita is giving us something which is the greatest happiness. So in the in the slogan that the Bhagavan Sutra in the Jnana Mandi Sutra Sutam Kartam Mahabhyaya, the Sandhavan Yar in the Bhagavan Gita Bhagavan Gita Ranglo, our Sandhavan Yar in the 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 Bhagavan it's a book which we can read and read it again and read it again and again. Whenever we open it, it contains jewels of wisdom and knowledge. So the Bhagavad Gita the Indian Gavradi Pachin La Randal Pachin Mona Pati will go the Adikate you can pick up the book anytime open it and read it and you will get very special knowledge so during this month of December we Devotees in the Krishna Consciousness Movement, we often take part in something called the Christmas Marathon. And during this month, we try to make extra efforts to introduce books like Bhagavad Gita to people. So in the Madhatla, Panda Madhatla, the Olagapura and they are in the Christmas Marathon, Bukhu Ipang, Olagapura. So in the Panda Madhatla, the Gita Yenti Nala, Bhakta and they extra Tapashaka Murchimandi, Gita Vikirtiku Murchimana. The month of December is often a time when people like to give presents, they exchange things with each other, make gifts for Christmas. So Bhagavad Gita is the ideal Christmas present to give to anyone. Somebody may say, oh, you're just giving me your religion. But no, 
this is not just simply my religion. This is knowledge. This is a way of life. This is wisdom to free us from ignorance. So, Silapar, inna ni onno da matha rupka ni kudra. Apni sallo. Idinte Hindu matha bukkilla. Idinte osandha tato. The tato the moliva na bande samsara kattalanda na ba bhuktiyadi. So we take great pleasure in going out and trying to introduce these books to people, particularly Bhagavad Gita. And in the recent times, particularly with the lockdown, we've been having Gita Gyan, where we cover one chapter a day in a PowerPoint presentation. So, Eddie led in a Bagita Gan program, Saint John Gilvan Terium, Gita Gan program, Pandat Nala, and the Pandat Ratium, Pandat Nala Selibur Paga, Ur Naligan, Uratium, the Priya, Tanaira Puri, and the Gita Gan program, Kalagatanga. How many of you have taken part in the Gita Gan? It's a Gita Gan program, I think, right? Not many, huh? Oh, very less. Rumbo and Corundra. So it's free, it's a free online course, and people from all over the world are taking advantage of this course. So as a free time, all of the and the Rogopare and the Gita Gyan program. We have it in English, we have it in Tamil, we have it in Hindi, we have it in Chinese, we have it in Russia, all the languages. And well, I was just in Kuala Lumpur. In Kuala Lumpur, many people were coming to me and they were telling me how they they are attending this Gita Gyan seminar and they're learning what's in the Bhagavad Gita. So Mara is the Adel in the Keller Dangla, and the class of Murugur Mode, Silver and the Gita Gian Kalakunga, Amud Mara Pate, Mara, Robo Vishukal, Gita or Vishan, Katakata, and the Gita Gian program. You know, when I first started reading Bhagavad Gita, I couldn't understand it, what it was all about. It was very difficult for me, you know. I, I had a hard time. I've been reading it for more than 50 years now. <laughs> now I start to understand it a little. Maybe I didn't have the same scars. I didn't have the, the punya from the last slide that I could be born into the culture, you see, so I had to start from zero. So I'm learning slowly. <laughs> so you're born in this culture. For you it's easier. You can quickly take up this knowledge and quickly understand this message of Bhagavad Gita. But anyone, anywhere, can take this knowledge and be benefited. They can have a, they can be happy, happier by hearing and learning this knowledge. So, Anna Yara will not the Bagari the Padikalam, Hindu Madana Padikan Lilla, the Padishi number three is over there, none mean a Badilla. In the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna describes the history of the Bhagavad Gita, how he spoke this knowledge to the sun god millions of years ago. So, the sun god, he wasn't a Hindu, he wasn't an Indian, he was the sun god, you know. And Krishna spoke the knowledge to him. Krishna 
அதை எப்படி இன்ட்ரூட் சொல்ல முடியும் அதனால யாரு கட்டியோ யாரு என்ன படிக்கலாம் Mano, father of mankind. So, Suryadeva, who is talking about Manu? Manu is the father of all mankind. 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 That is Manu. Manu is the father of all mankind. And Manu gave birth to Manu. And Manu gave birth to Manu. And Manu gave knowledge to Ikswaku. And in this way, the knowledge came to the, the different kings who were ruling. in the planet so adutha inda manu yarukitta pesna avar magan iswa kitta pesna and moolime parambara parambariya mannargalam inda gnanatha adanjar kadichu and that that was millions of years ago in previous yugas adala kodi janmam munna but that same knowledge is being distributed today so in the bhagavad gita adhi gnanam inde kodi kaasa varsham munna pesu gnanam inde inniki Now sometimes people see the Bhagavad Gita and they say, "Oh, do you read such a big book? Oh, such a big book! Oh, I don't know if I could ever read such a big book." So, lepas itu, anda baca ke pada orang yang yang besar, kerja, apa yang beri kerja, ni apa beri kerja, apa ini, semua. You have to understand. You don't read it all at one day. You have to read it carefully, digest it slowly. So what you can read one page at a time. So count the order, or not? Give one page. Now we're going to read one page, or even you read one line and can think about it and understand it. One page, or not? One very big chunk of it. Now we're going to read it. And if you don't understand it, then you got to contact us, and we will help you to understand. अपने उंगले पुरी आर ना इंगे बक्ते द कांगा आउंगले द इंगे डिगा आउंगले द वेला कोम. And because our business is to teach what's in these books. याना कृष्ण बक्ती इलंद पातिंग ला ना बंदे बेद लेना अल्द पटेगा आधे खत्ते कटे ना मक्कल के ना बेरेस. Understand this knowledge of Bhagavad Gita is not just like a novel. Where you read the book, you read a story, and you think, "Oh, oh very nice story," and you put it down and forget about it. So the Bhagavad Gita in there, or kada bookalla, ha? Kada bookko padichete, or nalla kada abroad to ichar, anna pariye bookalla Bhagavad. But this Bhagavad Gita, this is knowledge. It's a book about a, a life, a way of life, a way in which we can live, which will help us to be have a better life. So it's important for us to read this book ourselves, and it's also important for us to try to share what's in this book book with other people. So that's why it's very important that the Bhagavad Gita is read. It's very important for us to read it. 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 I came across the Bhagavad Gita first when I was a, a student, and I was studying engineering in the UK. So Maharaj Singh, when the girl told me the UK, when they were universal engineering, particularly that, after that, when Maharaj came, the Bhagavad Gita was published. There was no Bhagavad Gita as it is at that time. And the next time, the Bhagavad Gita, only one of our Thalai Pilliya. There was some other Bhagavad Gita. So. आधु कुड़ा प्राव पढ़े तो बगड़ गई था आधे बेर बगड़ गए ना लड़ते ना बगड़ And I couldn't understand what it was about. मारा यार पढ़ी क्यों पढ़ी चुनो ना उन्नो पुरी नहीं है. I think it was good I didn't understand. मारा जी को और विषय पुरी नहीं है बाद में बगड़ी तो पढ़ी चुनो ना नल्ले ना और कोनो पुरी नहीं नल्ले ना. But later on after I was finished studies and I I was working, and I got a book. I got the book Krishna, oh. and I I took the book home and showed my friend, and my friend he had a book by the same person. Your friend is my friend. He had a book, oh, the same book. another book, another a different book, book by the same author. 
So I was surprised because you know before when the devotees came to England, they came from America. They didn't come from India. They came from America to London, and they made the record of Hari Krishna mantra. So. So I didn't know they were teaching Bhagavad Gita. I thought they were just a music group. So but I used to sing Hare Krishna. And then when I got the book and my friend had the book, then they thought, oh, we have to go and see. We should go to the temple because they had the temple. But I've never been. So I thought we must go. So, so we went to the temple. So and there every evening they were having Bhagavad Gita class. And the devotees were just very young, but they were speaking Bhagavad Gita. So and many people used to come, and they're still coming, and people come, they sit and listen, and they hear, and they're greatly benefited. So, this knowledge of Bhagavad Gita helps us to get a better life, helps us to understand who we are, helps us to understand where we're going. So the Bhagavad Gita, I said, is a book which we read ourselves and a book we want, whatever we read, we like to share that knowledge with other people. So the Bhagavad Gita, the Padichik Purge, number Walakil, number the Katapurik. One of the places where I go, uh, where I, I can't go just now because of the situation with the lockdown and everything, but I used to go into China and we would, we had some Chinese men there, young Chinese men, they were distributing Bhagavad Gita and they were in the college one day in the campus and they were distributing in the Bhagavad Gita and they were talking the knowledge of the Bhagavad Gita. They were explaining you're not the body, you're a soul, the body changes, the body, the change of the body is like the change of the dress. So Mara Hindi or the China we China Lande Silver Unis Padigang Bhaktar Unis Padigaga and the Bhagavad Gita Katikita Aung by Prajaman China Unis Veral Gata and because every day, every day we'd be with the devotees, the Chinese devotees, we'd be preaching to them, teaching them Bhagavad Gita. So they were distributing the Bhagavad Gita and they were preaching to the student. And this one student said to me, he said, Hey, you, you know them. You know your Bhagavad Gita better than I know any of my textbooks. Chinese or Indian Chinese. So, <laughs> You have to understand that Bhagavad Gita has been translated 
in so many languages it's all over the world so if bhagavad gita in the ulagathe ella irukkira moli ellam in the bhagavad gita maathil irukkanga not just only our bhagavad gita but many other editions of bhagavad gita so namba bhagavad gita pravapada undu oru bhagavad gita adu undi illa romba mari bhagavad gita alla ellum vera moli irukku but this bhagavad gita this one as it is that is the special bhagavad gita ஆனா எல்லா பகவத் கீதையும் இருக்கு ஆனா இந்த பகவத் கீதை உண்மை ஒரு ரொம்ப வித்தியாசமான பகவத் கீதை because when people read this bhagavad gita then they, they can become the bodhis ஆனா யானா இந்த பகவத் கீதை உண்மை ஒரு யார் படிக்கறங்களோ அவங்க நிச்சயமா பக்கரா ஆயிரும் and people read the bhagavad gita after reading it, they they go and look i want to find the guru i got to find the guru where can i find the guru so the bhagavad gita unni oru padichittona avanga enna seyavayo guru per karana guru thari pora guru vena and mari varum so that is the benefit of reading the bhagavad gita so adha oru nanmi bhagavad gita padikiradhu so it's a, it's very important for us to read the bhagavad gita ourselves and they keep reading it not to just read it and put it down there what is that you have to keep reading it. so romba mukki nammalukalam bhagavad gita padikirade oru vaati padicha mattum pathade namba thaniku padichikitte irukku the bhagavad gita and if you keep reading it then gradually you start to understand and you get to know what's in this bhagavad gita bhagavad gita namba thirupi thirupi padikumbodhu oru kattathila nammalukku inda bhagavad gita thattuvam namba puriya aaram And sometimes people say, "Well, I read the Bhagavad Gita, but I can't remember it. You know, I forget what I read. Oh, I read it, but I forgot. How can I remember?" Sir, sir, let me tell you, I read the Bhagavad Gita, but I don't remember what I read. How can I remember? 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 You have to tell it to you whatever you know you have to share it with other people so ipdi namma nyapaga vechirukna padichittona namma vera aalukku namma edu sonnama namma nyapaga vechirukku you don't just keep it for yourself but you have to teach it to other people so padichit matra mukkiyamalla namma vera aalukku namma edu sonnama namma endra nyapaga vechirukku so more important than just reading the bhagavad gita is to discuss it and to explain it with other people so padikiradhu mukkiyam tha anna adoda mukkiyam enna adna eduthe vera kattu pesirathu raal kattu discuss and so now we're doing that more and more with the help of things like mobile phones and internet you can make a group with people from all over the world and you can be talking to them and teaching them transcendental now so ipa ipa navina kaalathu vande handphone irukke internet irukke computer irukke adala paichindu ulaga pora namm vande inde bhagavad gita gnanathai namm solli kodukku just the other night i had a class one devotee up in penang there's one lady up in penang she and she is a retired lecturer from the university and she studies the bhagavad gita and she got a group of people from different parts of the world and she is reading discussing the bhagavad gita with them so mara sonna pinne vandha ore university lecturer ipo da avanga retire pannitaanga avanga da ulagu pora vandhe sila bhaktarga uruvaaki avarnde avanga da bhagavad gita internet moolima avanga pesikara but sometimes people feel well i'm not qualified i don't know very much you don't need to know very much so பயன்படுத்தாதான் from speaking this knowledge of bhagavad gita padikiradona ipa namba kadapudikiramo appa da nammada unarlam appa da nammada thoomya arathukku vali irukku so this bhagavad gita you should have to understand this is very special book and you want to keep one with you wherever you go prabhu patodas when i was in london 
He told us we should carry Bhagavad Gita with us everywhere. He said, wherever you go, he said, sometimes you're talking to people and then they say, what? What are you saying? And, and you can take out the Bhagavad Gita and show them, look, it says it right here in the Bhagavad Gita. So Prabhupada is only Karana Binga Ponagoda Bhagavad Gita to Ponama in a similar kind of Pricharmano. Up a solo moda or Namo Matanga, opening a Bhagavad Gita, the Batingla, Bhagavad Gita, Lubadaka, opening a property of Mama. And just like sometimes you go to court and you may have to take a vow of truthfulness, and maybe they have the Bible or the Quran, so they have also now Bhagavad Gita. So in your court putting in on a Sati Hurukas Manam, the Satyam is still. Muslim in the Quran, Christian the Bible, Hindu in the Bhagavad Gita. This Bhagavad Gita, this is the words of God, Bhagavad. Now, you've read the Bhagavad Gita? Oh, oh very good. If you don't want to read it again, go on and read Srimad Bhagavatam. So, the Bhagavad Gita is the Bhagavan, Pesna, Vartingal. So, the Padichu Purjitrana, Purjita, Purjitrana, Mande. The Bhagavad Gita is the word spoken by God Himself, by Lord Krishna. So Bhagavad Srimad Bhagavatam is spoken about Krishna. So the Bhagavad Gita in the Bhagavan Pesna. Anand Srimad Bhagavatam in the Bhagavan Pati Pesapata. Bhagavad Gita, short book, only 700 verses. So the Bhagavad Gita in the Sinna book, Yernu Sloma. Even if you only read one verse a day, one sloka a day, one sloka, you can, two years, you can finish the whole So, in Bhagavad Gita, in the Urunali Guru Slokam Parachakura, the Yenu Slokam Mudir and Dwarthar Mudir. But there are many devotees, they make a vow every day, a chapter a day. And our Bhagavad Gita, Satyam Sinjir Kangala, Urunali Ki Urati Parikinane. You know, they have a say, an apple a day tea keeps the doctor away, so we say a chapter a day tea keeps Maya away. <laughs> you read the Bhagavad Gita, 18 chapters, 18 days, you finish it, you read it again. And then you read it five, six, ten, twelve times, you start to know it. So, Tanikur, Nalikur, chapter, Padichuma, Padnatin Nala, Nova Padnatia, Mudichala, Mudichitrona, Namanda, Anti, Atea, Maratem, or Vadikla. It's not a waste of time, but it's the greatest benefit. So, Baguri, a Padikumana, Namanarthi Vinakla, Namanji, Saranda, Nami, and Mari. The benefit is that you read the Bhagavad Gita. At the end of life, you will be able to think of Krishna himself. So, this is the message of Bhagavad Gita. Lord Krishna spoke this book. We celebrate every year in the, on the auspicious Ekadasi, and we, that time we distribute many Bhagavad Gita. So, the Bhagavad Gita is in the Moksha Ekadasi and Ekadasi. Okay. So, now somebody just wrote to me, they were asking me, they said, I want to give out Bhagavad Gita to people, but I'm worried that if I give them the book, maybe they'll throw it away, maybe, maybe they won't relish it. But it doesn't matter. If somebody doesn't read it, somebody else will get it. So, Silapra Silvanga Yomara and then the Vistakam Bhagavad Gita Vera Kurtana, there are many cases where people picked up a Bhagavad Gita somewhere. They just picked it up. They found it lying around somewhere. They picked it up, read it, and became devotees. So, so we try to go around, wherever we see books, wherever there's this library, sometimes you go to the doctors or the dentists or something, you leave a Bhagavad Gita, they put the Bhagavad Gita, they let people read it. So Mara Saranamanda, a clinic for Mote. So Dr. Bhagavad Gita, Angavaramala, 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 Angavaramala,
and in this way somehow the books are being distributed, the knowledge is going around. So in the Molima and the Bhagavita Jnanamande, Vera Jivara Sivir Karika Vaibha. And people come in contact with Krishna, it's a great benefit in their life. So even the Krishna Bhagavan Kate Varu Aramikavan Amande Siranya Nanmiya Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Kering Nirka, I may any question you can ask Mara, Kering in a Kekla, Tamala Kekla, and there is this around here. Salam Prabhu. Question, any question you can ask Maharaj, Tamala and then Kekla, not there is Hora. You can ask, I don't know if I can answer, but you can always answer. Kekla Mara, my Prabhu and Kandes, what do you want here? Hi Krishna Guru Maharaj, mm -hmm. please accept my humble obeisances of the Shushila Prabhupada. Um, you, you, were, you were speaking of how we should uh, do our best to distribute books to people, but say, uh, let us assume that we give a book to someone and then they mistreat it or perhaps throw it in the rubbish, do we get reactions? No. You don't get any reactions. You distribute the book. They're the one who put the book in the rubbish. They get the <laughs> But they accepted the book. Somebody, because they accepted the book, so that was good. They accepted the book. They held the book for some time. Maybe they didn't read it, but they accepted the book. They took it. Somehow, in course of time, somehow they didn't get around to reading it. But still, somebody else can get it. Somebody else can take the time. Sometimes you just see books, second-hand bookstores, you know. Somehow our books are in there. Well, Grahastha has a family. You sit with the family and read the book. Instead of watching television, what benefit do you get? So, Grahastha is a family. So, Maharaj 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 is a family. So, I was in Bangalore this year and there was a young boy, six years old, he could recite the whole Vishnu Sahasrana. So Maharaj in the Padel and the Dubai letter, or Bhakta, Bangalore and Tare, or Bhakta or Magar Vishana, Yella Vishnu Sahasrana, and Pai Padigram. Parents, of, he's not able to read yet, but his parents were teaching him and he was <laughs> So parents have to also be interested, then the children can follow the parents. So, Appa Ma Moda and the Aradha Kaitra, Aradha Kaitra Pulling Aramayama. Well, you have, to, you have to want, you have to have that desire, then you can do it. But if you're thinking, oh, there's so many other things, oh, I'm so busy, uh, then you won't be able to do it. You have to think how important it is to read the Bhagavad Gita. Then you will make time, you will arrange to do it. So, the the desire is very important. So, and the asai, erindana bar nichiva nato uthi tamar padi. You have time. It doesn't take a lot of time. So, 
உண்மையிலே பகவீதம் படிக்கிறது ரொம்ப நேரத்தை நம்ம வந்து தேவை Even if you just do like 15 minutes a day, 20 minutes a day, but make it regular, do it every day. Maybe before you take rest in the evening, you can also read Bhagavad Gita. So, we can also read Bhagavad Gita. Chant, just like chanting Gita and Hare Krishna, chanting Maha Mantra, you can do it, it's not difficult. And you do it, you'll see, you get purified. So, Namande Dari Kishamata is a big mother, Bhagavad Gita, but in mother, Namande Tumya, Kandipa Nichimata. Problem is people are thinking, I don't want to get purified. <laughs> okay, you don't want to get purified, you don't go back to Godhead, right? You have that choice, we all have free will. So, what do you want to do? You want to go back to Godhead for me? So regularly you can? Yes. So now in court you can see they even after they make a vow or promise on Bhagavad Gita, they still continue telling lies. You know, in court, Maharaj, so how it's... Rascals. Rascals. <laughs> Maybe they will lose the case, Maharaj. <laughs> Nobody telling truth in Maharaj in court. Maharaj, which year you make from part? And there you can see it up So, Prabhu Gikara Maharaj, how many years ago was the Prabhu Gikara Maharaj? 1971. You don't know how many Maharaj is the Prabhu Gikara Maharaj? Then I saw you were carrying a Prabhu Gikara. Ah, in Vrindavan. In Vrindavan. So, the picture was in Maharaj, 77. In the last year, there was a video in Rome, Maharaj, and Prabhupada Padatha. Prabhupada Samadhi, and 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 Prabhupada Samadhi. So, Maharaj joined his home. Maharaj Shri, he is going to join him, and he is going to join him. I said, 1971. Hare Krishna. So Maharaj just we 